the government of Uganda, in close partnership with its AIDS development partners, has been a trailblazer in the region. It has adapted new treatments, new technologies for children living with HIV to improve how we care for our children here in Uganda. So we are here in the southwestern part of the country to see how these two new innovations can transform the care of children living with HIV and ultimately save their lives. Over the last few years, we've rolled out point of care testing for early infant diagnosis that allows for same day results and prompt enrollment onto treatment for those children who are confirmed as HIV positive. We found that babies are coming from many different entry points. Some babies come to the pediatric ward when they are sick. Some babies come to the nutrition ward. They come with all these opportunistic infections. So we are putting a lot of emphasis on use of point of care on these alternative entry points. So we need to test them as early as possible, give them the correct ARVs, and then that makes it better for their survival and general health. We had never thought about it that it would be that easy for a baby below 18 months who needs a sophisticated test like DNA PCR to come in the morning at 8 and by 2 p.m. at least if they have HIV, you can even make a decision that you are going to start ART today. Tira tuile na biro, tira tuile na saha, tuwa tula kawunga, batu kola kuma unyo, dachi sawa ngemu. Batu kola mangunyo dala, baboba kebera angabuli kwa de. So we've seen the time between test and initiation of ART decrease from 90 days to almost one day. So the earlier a child gets into care and gets on ART, the better the quality of life they're going to live. We've also been fortunate enough as a country to roll out a new pellet formulation of our pediatric HIV treatment for children that replaces an older treatment that was foul testing. Cancer <laughs> At that time, we only had formulations for adults. These are tablets you could not break, and not all children could, could swallow the tablets. It was good because it was going to save lives, but it also had uh, its other challenges. So with the introduction of the pellets, that became a little bit more easier for the caregivers and the children as well. <laughs> We want to ensure that other children are getting a more optimal regimen that is going to help them suppress better. And of course, if they are virally suppressed, that means fewer infections, minimum opportunistic infections, they are able to go to school, they give us an opportunity of a good quality of life for, for the children.
So I'm optimistic. Uganda is always on top of new technologies, new advances in caring for people living with HIV. So we are very excited to bring a new drug, the 4-in-1. It gives us an opportunity for the caregiver to give the granules without a bitter test and an additional treatment. We hope that it will even enhance our viral suppression and we'll see children doing well on their treatment. <laughs> I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house.